the serenity. Well, I know some of you are just not like me. You're not lulled to sleep by the gentle tones of a Briggs and Stratton. If that's the case with the constant power interruptions we experience in this modern world, you've probably at some stage thought about getting yourself a backup battery. Well, you're in luck. Today I'm putting two of the most popular batteries, the EcoFlow River 2 Max, up against the Blue Eddy AC60, and we'll see what their features are, we'll see how they compare, we'll see what they can and can't do. This should be fun. Hey. The folks from EcoFlow recently asked me to compare their River 2 Max with the equivalent offering from Bluetti. Careful what you wish for. They just came out with a new model that plays in the same frog pond. But it brought back up. To charge either of these batteries, all you need is a normal kettle plug which is a big improvement over the earlier models of batteries that I've tried before on this channel. For example, the EB55 came with a lot more. If you're into minimalism, the B80's even better. This time, only one single solitary cable. So here are the contenders unmasked. We've got the EcoFlow River 2 Max on my left, then we've got the Blue Eddy AC60. The two of these very similarly specced. And then we've got the B80, which acts purely as a backup to your existing Blue Eddy battery system. And it's going to pretty much triple the watt hours lifespan of this battery, making it really suitable for an emergency backup supply. Charging both is pretty easy. Just plug in the kettle plug. The AC60 has a water resistant rating. So there is a cover to remove before you plug in the kettle plug. One of the first big differences between the Blue Eddy and the EcoFlow is that you'll notice it's got all these little caps on the Blue Eddy. It's actually rated as water and dust resistant, although I don't recommend you go hosing it down in the garden. Yeah, um, kind of proved that it's not really waterproof. You'll be right. The displays on both the Blue Eddy and the EcoFlow are very similar to each other. Both of them give you current battery capacity. Both of them indicate that it's charging. Both of them give you an indication of time remaining until fully charged, output and input. Although I will say with the Blue Eddy, the input skipped around a bit at the start until it got its head right. Overall, I find the EcoFlow display just a little bit clearer and easier to read. And as you can see here, the Blue Eddy annoyingly turns off all the time and you keep having to turn it back on again. Okay, so it's been about 48 minutes and both of them are completely charged. Both of these come with an app that allows you to control them, turn them on and off remotely. The on off remote function is really good if your kids are playing music too loudly in the other room. No, no. So let's talk some numbers and stats. And yes, I am going to give you a price in this review. I normally avoid that like the plague because prices are so unreliable. They fluctuate all the time. Today, I'm quoting Australian dollars off the respective websites as they are in June 2023. These products particularly are notorious for fluctuating prices and having specials and all the rest of it, but it gives you an idea. Off the website today, the EcoFlow River 2 Max is $1,099. And off the Blue Eddy website today, this is $899. So this one's $200 cheaper, win for Blue Eddy. Power. Now we're talking power storage in terms of watt hours. So the number of hours you can expect to draw one watt from the machine until it gives up and goes, what? 512 watt hours for the EcoFlow and only 403 watt hours for the Blue Eddy. So the win goes to the EcoFlow for the amount of you know, sparks in the box. Maximum power draw is different though. Maximum power draw is 500 watts for the EcoFlow and 600 for the Blue Eddy. Now that might give this a little bit of an advantage in the test if the figures they're quoting are accurate. Time to test out some tools. First off, we've got the cutoff saw and some PVC pipe versus the Blue Eddy. That was more of a problem for the PVC pipe than it was the Blue Eddy. Okay, now we'll try the EcoFlow. I don't know if you 
can hear that, but it's taking a while for the reds to fill up with the Eco Flow, whereas it was instantaneous with the Blue Eddy. Test two, old fashioned 240 volt circular saw. Jeez, it's been a while since I've used this. And she's blown. And she's blown. Overload detection's kicked in on both of them. To be fair, this is probably pulling something like 12 or 1400 watts. It's time for the angle grinder versus steel. I don't have much hope with this one, but we've got to try. Straight through 10 mil steel rod with an angle grinder. Didn't short out. Blue Eddy's won. Same steel rod, same angle grinder, Eco Flow. And it's shorted out. Now, I believe that's the difference between 500 watts maximum and 600 watts maximum. The Blue Eddy's just got enough guts to run the angle grinder through steel, the Eco Flow. It's thrown its switch up in the air again, said, nah, count me out. So in terms of capacity in the shed for running tools, Blue Eddy one, EcoFlow none. Hours to charge, no different. Both quote one hour to charge. Of course, in this test, when I was charging it, this one was 70% already, and it only took 10 minutes to get up to 100. This one came in at around about 48% out of the box, and it took about 40 minutes to get up to 100. I have no reason to believe that they won't be both about an hour to fully charge from zero. By the way, don't take your batteries down to zero. Stop them at 30% if you can. Bluetti versus household fridge. And with the door open and the engine running, the Blue Eddy's coping just fine, thank you very much. EcoFlow versus the same fridge, door open. And it's blown straight away, overloaded. Blue Eddy for the win. The EcoFlow looks like it'll run a normal size TV for about five hours on 93% charge. So the Blue Eddy is also running the TV. It's only on 71% power and it looks like it's got about three hours of runtime running the telly. Now, one of the most common things that you're gonna use these battery banks for is charging your common household equipment overnight if the power's gone out or if you're camping. So let's put this under a bit of a test. We've got some normal household equipment here. I've got three drone batteries. I've got two camera batteries. I've got an iPhone and I've got a laptop. Let's see if they can handle charging all of those devices at once. Now we've run out of USB-A slots, but we've got our inductive charging pad. Oh, there's the sound you love to hear. And we'll plug in our laptop into the USB-C. Now we haven't used any of our normal wall sockets, so I can imagine that both of these machines will run some wall mounted chargers as well, because this is actually quite low demand for a machine this powerful. All right, let's try the EcoFlow River 2 Max. So both of these batteries in terms of charging your devices at home, pretty much neck and neck with both of them even with all these devices we've still got two wall mounted sockets free that could be used to plug in something else wait now obviously the blue eddy is a bigger box and this is a handicap in the weight department this one comes in at just over six kilos this one comes in at just over nine kilos 30% heavier, win for EcoFlow. One of the earlier advantages that EcoFlow had was that it had much simpler cabling and connections. Blue Eddy has now simplified their range as well and they've drawn even. In fact, both of these batteries will work with either set of solar panels with the same cabling. So that's a huge leap forward for Blue Eddy and I can say in terms of simplicity and ease of use, they're identical. Well, after all of that, it's time to have a cupper, I reckon. So let's plug the kettle into them and see which one gives us the opportunity to have a think about the winner. Blue straight away. Two. 
To run household items like a kettle or a coffee machine or similar, you need something well outside the range of these devices. You need something like the 1600 Delta Max over here from EcoFlow that I'm currently running the kettle off. Both of these are lithium ion phosphate batteries, Life PO4s, um, so both the same battery. They're in a bit of a war warranty wise. The EcoFlow has a five year warranty. Blue Eddy's just come out with a six year warranty. I wouldn't be surprised if EcoFlow come out with a seven year warranty. The warranties are kind of pointless anyway because if you misuse the battery it's not covered by warranty and that's what's going to break it, isn't it? Cycles. That's the number of times that you can expect to fully discharge, although I'd only go to 30% and fully recharge the battery before it starts to lose capacity. Both manufacturers quote 3,000 cycles for each, which is about 10 years if you're using them all the time which is pretty good. Now, before we get to decision time, it's really important to point out that the River 2 Max also has a battery expansion pack available. So if you are looking for a battery with an expansion pack, check out the prices online and make your own decision there. The Bluetti, I think, came out in front today on several counts. Number one, on today's prices, who knows what will happen tomorrow, but on today's prices, it's 200 bucks cheaper. It's also more powerful. The extra 100 watts of power meant that we could run an angle grinder off the Blue Eddy, but not off the EcoFlow. The third thing is something that I think is probably more important than people would give credit to, and that is the water and dust resistance of the Blue Eddy. Now, I'm not suggesting you take this out in the garden and hose it down. That would be stupid. But if you're taking it camping or taking it on the work site and there's a light shower of rain or you're storing it in the shed for a long time and there's a heap of dust, that might actually result in the Blue Eddy surviving longer than something without the water and dust covers. So in my mind today, despite its extra weight and size, in terms of bang for buck, power for price, the Blue Eddy wins today. I can't wait to see what EcoFlow come back with in a couple of months time. Because if there's one thing we're learning about the battery industry, that is it's evolving every day. Guys, if you like this review and you found it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give it a thumbs up. There's plenty more on timthompson.ag and I'll see you for another review next week. So this expansion pack is pretty neat. It's also probably worth mentioning that the older Blue Eddy models that I've reviewed in the past can actually be connected with it, as long as you get the adapter cable, of course.